If you're getting better at your game, you want to get better at your whole game. And one of the biggest misconceptions that outside hitters have is that if I'm not jumping real high and I don't hit as hard as I can, I won't be effective. We want to establish all parts of your game during the course of this video, so pay attention to these next tips as we go through arm swing mechanic. We have Lynette up here on a box. This box is only about 20 inches high. Lynette's only about 5'9", 5'10", on a good day, so she is not really at a super high elite physical level above the plane of the net. Lynette became a great player because she had elite level skills that she put with her physical ability. Even if you are a player that doesn't touch way high above the net or doesn't have super vertical or anything like that, you can establish a really big part of your game by being a good shot maker and having great arm swing mechanics. So we're going to go through the arm swing mechanics here tip by tip and we'll try to help you improve your game. The first thing Lynette is going to do is she's going to get into what we call the draw position. The draw position is left elbow high by the ear, right elbow high by the ear, with the right palm facing down toward the floor. Let's go ahead and rotate your palm down a little bit, Lynette. Okay? This is called the draw position. Okay? When we talk about pure arm swing, once she's done her footwork, she's jumped up into the air, this is the pure arm swing part. Her jumping mechanic will help her get to the draw position. And I see a lot of players who, if you start down into a kind of a coiled jumping position, I see a lot of players who jump with one hand in the air to go hit the ball. And if you jump with your right hand only, you're taking away a huge part of your vertical capacity in your body. And you know from common sense that you'll jump a lot harder and a lot higher if you use both arms in your explosive power. So she goes from a coiled position and she jumps and draws. And that draw is right elbow high with the right palm facing down, left elbow high. Okay? The next thing that she's going to do is what we call the exchange. And the exchange is the combination of left elbow pull and right elbow and arm swing. Okay? So we go from draw to exchange. It's left elbow pull and right arm swing. Okay? So this is a couple reps and then we'll talk about the specifics in the arm swing mechanic. Okay, so you can see the basic mechanic, so let's talk about the details that are involved in the mechanic. When she goes to her draw position, one of the things that she's trying to do is not only increase her vertical, but also open her cage up, or her whole body, to the setter. She's opened her cage well by drawing with both arms, but if she drew by just leaving her left arm down, she tends to open flat to the net. And flat to the net is a much less powerful arm swing. So instead, she opens with both arms and gets her whole body, just like we wanted her feet, open to the setter. Now her shoulders, her face, her head, her eyes, everything is open to the setter, where the ball is coming from. So she's in her draw position. The left arm and the left hand also serve another purpose. Not only do they get you up off the ground, but they also generate a lot of power. So here's a really important tip. If you want to get high reach and you want to generate power through your swing, you got to get your left arm and hand involved. What happens is, as she drives and pulls her left elbow, she not only starts her arm swing, but she also increases her body torque through the ball. And the, the simplest thing that I train players with as we start really training a good arm swing is we say, go ahead and put the ball in your right hand, leave your left arm down, and just throw that ball as far as you can. And what they find out is they don't have near as much power as they do if you put that in your right hand, bring your left arm up, and then pull and draw. And you can see the exchange is a much more powerful mechanic. So that left arm serves the purpose of getting you up in the air and serves the purpose of putting a lot of power through your swing by starting your swing mechanic with your whole torso and body. Okay? The third thing that the left arm can do is it acts as your targeting arm. If a player is working on becoming more explosive with their swing, they want to put more pop into their swing, then probably the biggest problem that they're having is that they're not waiting long enough with their left arm. So a lot of players get focused on the right arm and think all the power comes from here. But your right shoulder is not a very powerful muscle structure. You want to use all the muscles in your upper body, your chest, your abdomen, even your lower back to help generate power through that swing. So your left hand becomes your targeting hand. 
And what it tells you is that when the ball is almost to your left hand is when you can start your exchange. And you go left hand for right hand. She drives her left elbow and then brings her right hand through with the high right elbow. This is a fast exchange. So when a player is warming up like Lynette was just doing, she was in a pretty medium speed exchange. And she was hitting balls decently, but not with tons of power. So now if I want Lynette to hit with a lot of power, she's really going to focus on those tips. She gets a high draw with that left elbow. She drives the left elbow hard. And she makes sure that she waits as long as possible to exchange one hand for the other. So let's see what that looks like. You can hear it right away. You can see the speed is much faster. And the contact with the ball is much better. Tight. My bad. Okay, so that's the mechanic that we're after when it comes to draw and the exchange. Now here's a great tip for an outside hitter. If you want to have effective swing mechanic, and we just looked at the swing mechanic that's involved, the high draw, the fast exchange, and I talked a lot about the left arm and the left hand, but that, let's really focus in on the right arm and what the right arm is doing. When Lynette gets into that draw position as an outside hitter, she has a lot of time to wait for the ball. But one of the things that happens for a hitter is the longer they wait on that ball, the more the tendency they have to drop their right shoulder when they're waiting. When they drop that right elbow and shoulder, it usually results in a much lower contact point on the ball. And she wants to be able to make contact above the net as high as she can every single time. This is what we call good hitting arm extension. So in order to have good hitting arm extension, we say we want you to keep your right elbow high, but we want to keep it high all the way through the, the swing. And here's one great way that you can test it. When you're wearing a t-shirt and you're hitting balls and you're keeping your right elbow high, when you finish and drop your arm down, your right elbow, or I'm sorry, your right arm t-shirt should be left kind of high up on your shoulder. If your elbow is low every time when you're hitting, your t-shirt will stay low on your shoulder. So as you swing and swing and swing with a high elbow, your shirt will ride up your arm. But if you swing with a low elbow here and you never get your elbow high, your shirt will never ride up your arm. Now Lynette's wearing a cap sleeve shirt so it won't show it as much, but we'll look at the difference between a high elbow and a low elbow as she's swinging. So she gets to the draw position, okay, and she's trying to keep a high elbow all the way through the ball. Okay, and you can notice that as she comes through, the elbow leads the hitting contact, snaps through, and then the follow through brings her arm down. Now we'll take a look at some swings where she starts with a low elbow and finishes with a low elbow. Okay, so you can see that her low elbow is resulting at a lower contact point and she's barely hitting it across the tape and the ball is really flat. This is a ball that tends to get blocked a lot because her elbow starts low. So if you really want to check yourself and you don't have anybody else to watch and you're working on a good arm swing mechanic, do this t-shirt test and see what's happening with your shirt sleeve. And if it's riding up on top of your shoulder, then that tells you that your elbow is up the whole time. And if it's uh, not riding up your shoulder, it tells you that you're swinging with a low elbow and your shirt will stay where it is.